In the uh, McGuire House Intel hearing, uh, Joseph McGuire, the acting director of national intelligence, he said during the hearing, I believe at one point, had I known this whistleblower <laughs> account was out there, I would not have taken this job. Um, clearly a guy in over his head. But what's important is that the committee make it clear that this guy messed up. The bottom line is if you got a whistleblower complaint about the president of the United States, you don't go to the White House and ask him, is this appropriate for me to give to Congress? Here is, um, let's go to uh, uh, Mike Quigley first asked, why is Rudy Giuliani being deputized by the State Department? I mean, first of all, let's just assume Rudy Giuliani wasn't even working for the president of the United States. The question would be, why would the State Department deputize Rudy Giuliani? But there's an added, um, uh, I think, like mystery as to why they would do this if he's the president's personal, personal defense attorney, as Rudy Giuliani refers to himself. Giuliani, a highly respected man. He was the mayor of New York. A graver. I would like him to, to call you. I will ask him to call you along with the attorney general. Your reaction to the civilian dealing with these. In the complaint, it talks about our national security. The, the, the com, inspector general talks about this as the highest responsibility among those that the DNI has. And obviously, Mr. Giuliani is playing this role. To your knowledge, does he have security clearance? I don't know. Congressman Quigley, I, I, I'm neither aware or unaware whether or not uh, uh, Mr. Giuliani has a security clearance. Before this all happened, were you aware of his role or understanding what his role was doing what you do? Uh, Congressman Quigley, my only knowledge of what uh, uh, Mr. Giuliani does, I, I have to be honest with you, I get from TV and from the news media, I am not aware of what he does, in fact, uh, for the president. Are you, are you aware of his, any communication by Mr. Giuliani and your office about how he should proceed with this role, given the classified nature, the national security implications that are in the complaint, that are in the transcript, and the role that he is playing? Well, I, I have read the transcripts just as you have, so my knowledge of his activity in there is uh, just limited to the conversation that the president had with the president of Ukraine. It's a, it's a, a question that Rudy Giuliani doesn't seem to think is any problem whatsoever. Here's Rudy Giuliani on, this is on Laura Ingram's show, right? And uh, Giuliani is now explaining... He thinks this is all exculpatory. He thinks like, oh, I got asked by the State Department as if the State Department just sort of out of their out of the blue just said like, oh, I know Rudy Giuliani, of course. Yeah. They're just sitting around the State Department going like, ah, we got to we got to we got to get in touch with uh, the folks in Ukraine. Uh, it's too bad we don't have an apparatus for that. Um, well, Rudy Giuliani, the mayor of New York. Yeah, he'd be great for this. Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, the country attorney. Yeah, yeah he, he's, he's a country attorney. He'd love to do it. Here's he might grade honor as a humble country attorney from Kanashi to go to Ukraine and help you commit a global crime. Laura Ingram keeps having Rudy Giuliani on her show and seems to be functioning like you would like like a like a like a daughter would if their dad was starting to lose it and like I'm going to try and help you here dad like okay dad calm down just tell us why you did it you came on you have a lie please deliver it this is filled uh, uh, yeah this is filled now, I want to ask this. Yeah, <laughs> Rudy, I want to ask this. Who told, so <clears throat> where, where did the State Department get its marching orders from here? Because people, I think, are extremely confused. All these wild allegations about you, you have a series of texts that re refute pretty much every single one of them. Uh, oh. and so the State Department was then, w w w was then told to connect you with yeah, them. How? A, How did and that and begin? There's a reason I'm in the middle of this. Uh, and the reason it's very uh, uh, emerges from the corruption of how they've tried to hide this for years, including trying to cover up Biden. Pause for, it for one second. Now, 
what Giuliani is talking about is, and he's trying to hide the fact that he was sent to Ukraine on a mission to get information that would be exculpatory or at least mitigating for Paul Manafort to justify a pardon by Donald Trump of Paul Manafort, which is how he met everybody there, apparently. And while he was there, he started fishing around about these stories about Joe Biden. Remember, he was meeting with the folks in the administration prior to Zaletsky. So he was meeting with the old prosecutors guys. This prosecutor was corrupt by all accounts. This prosecutor was in the sights of Joe Biden, who wanted to get rid of that prosecutor. Remember now, like in many respects, Ukraine is maybe client state is too strong of a word, but maybe client state. And everyone perceived the last administration to be highly corrupt. They wanted the prosecutor out. This prosecutor knew that Biden was gunning for him. And so here we go. Including trying to cover up Biden for years. Uh, I got this because the FBI wouldn't take it. For the, 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 the Ukrainians who came to me back in November of 2018 and then subsequently have told this to five other people who could testify to it, told me that we've been, we've been trying to get to you for over a year, year and a half. We have solid evidence of collusion, not Russian, Ukrainian, not with Trump, with Hillary and the DNC. We believe George Soros is behind it because his company was, in, uh, was involved in it. By the way, when Biden's son's case was dismissed, the other case the crooked new prosecutor had to dismiss was Soros's case, which is why the Biden thing is relevant to me, because Biden's corruption Biden's compromising the president of the Ukraine led to the dismissal of the case against yeah. Soros's organization. Had like that it, case gone on, look at Laura Ingram. We would like, have had the look evidence at, look at to refute the Mueller investigation. This is like literally. It's as if you had like, if Laura Ingram had said, "Hey, bring me an AP. Go find me someone off the street, and make sure they're talking to themselves." And bring them in here and sit them down, put them in a suit and have them talk. talk. I mean, try Port Authority. There's a lot of people there you could find. Giuliani has basically said the reason why he was involved in this is because the FBI wouldn't do their job. And the Ukrainians came to him because they were the only person they could reach because they needed to get to the president. You understand what's going on here? And then Rudy was going to Ukraine to find the hidden George Soros server, which was pulling the strings on Biden and Clinton. And that's when uh, Laura Ingram goes, eh, yeah. I, I, I. <laughs> then he continues on. And then I was the only one. See, I work out quite a bit. You know, I wear, I wear this like look of like I'm out of shape, Laura. But like I had to go into Ukraine. This is where the ad for the late 90s movie comes out, which is what happens when a country lawyer from rural Brooklyn <laughs> Get to exactly. gets asked lawyer. to deal, but going to the Ukraine might be above his pay grade, or is it? Starring Joe Pesci. Starring Joe Pesci. I didn't know fucking George Soros was involved. <laughs> I'm going to get clipped. He's a fucking Jew who collaborated with Nazis. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The impeachment goes on. And within like three or four months, like every, like Hugh Hewitt's already on this, like every right wing talker, they're all going to be all in on this. And, and, and the beauty is going to be when this stuff like dovetails in with Q and it probably already is. It probably already is, but this is all well and good because this is why, this is part of the reason why you have impeachment is to drive these people deeper and deeper into these um, um, these rabbit holes that they get. Right. If this just leads them further into the abyss, that's great. Do you have the part where he shows text messages on his iPad? Talk about <laughs> boomer <laughs> right. stuff. I mean, we could pull it. It's these are the these are the text messages from Volker, 
who is a John, who's like a member of the John McCain, or the, the director of the John McCain Institute. Rudy Giuliani. He's been in Ukraine without, a, I would imagine, as part of, like, to the extent that there's any pr- project to um, uh, to push for a war, I'm sure that's what he has been he's there facilitating for. facilitating arms sales, privatization schemes. Absolutely. And he's doing it for free. Rudy Giuliani was a simple country lawyer who got a call from an intern in the Ukraine. Not only is Volker an unpaid internship. Yeah, he's doing for it for free. Arms deals. You're probably Nobody's wondering he... how I got into this situation. <laughs> You're probably wondering how I wind up in the fuck of Ukraine. Giuliani also unpaid. I mean, it's a citizen mission. I don't get paid. You don't understand how payment works because you're a normal Stugatz on the subway with your dick in your hand. <laughs> you don't. No, you never gotten paid through a slush fund in your life, and you talk about sex in the city like you're some worldly cosmopolite. You ever get paid indirectly from a slush fund by a gangster who runs a caviar factory in Kazakhstan? <laughs> I think not. All right, we.